Welcome YouTubers, I am showing another video with some errors on the uh, RSIM 14s and trying to uh, help with that a little bit in this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, all of what I talk about in this video will be in the description as well, so go ahead and take a glance down there. Um, let's get into this wonderfulness. Um, so on this, you're going to hit continue. This is RSIM 14. RSIM 14 should be automatic and go right through. Take a few minutes, blah, blah, blah. But for some reason, if you're presented with SIM not supported, that means that it doesn't have the right ICC ID programmed into the RSIM. So we do have another video. I'll post that link also in the description so you can get to that. That has the new ICC ID that you need. Simply just go back, and this is the other issue that people are having. When you go back, some of the programming that you do is simply this one code right here. But when you hit send, it keeps coming up with this error performing request. What we have found out is it's the phone itself having a problem. It's it's not the RSIM, it's literally some reason somehow, it's probably, honestly, it's probably on behalf of Apple doing some kind of programming of some sort to where they figured out how to make a problem for you. So what you have to do, since this phone, uh, you see it's an, that was an AT&T card here. Um, this phone, since it's originally a T-Mobile device, what we're going to do is you can take a Metro PCS SIM card, something that basically runs on T-Mobile towers, a T-Mobile SIM card, whichever one, and plug that in there. Now, of course, it's not going to have a problem. It's not going to go to activation. It's its, its own SIM card, so it's going to act like it's a regular SIM card. Now if you're on iOS 12 or higher, which of course if you're trying to get this to work, you're probably going to be on iOS 12.3 I would hope, um, you're going to do it exactly where I'm going to tell you to go. So once it reads the SIM card and everything like that, you're simply going to go to settings, Oop, I'm already sitting there, so you're going to go to settings, you're then going to go to cellular, and you're going to look for SIM applications. Now again, this is iOS 12. If you're on older iOS, you don't have to go here to do this. You can go, um, I want to say you just go to settings and then you scroll down to phone and then sim applications are in there um, another way i think in 11 or something like that or early 12 was uh right under mobile data you went under mobile data and then there were sim applications so you want to go to sim applications and there you go you can see now the you can edit the icc id so entering that code where it was coming up wrong you don't have to worry about it anymore um because you now have the ability to edit this without getting there and without running into the problem of that you know, error performing request. So then we're going to take out those four. We're going to plug in four of a working one at the moment. Thankfully, I only have to change four and make this rather easy on myself. And then that's it, guys. That is that is legitimately it. I'm going to pop that SIM out of it now that the correct ICC ID has been programmed to that R SIM. So we'll get rid of the Metro SIM card out of that thing. I will go ahead and simply install the now AT&T one. And we'll see how this wonderful thing goes. Dismiss, enter, and then continue. Now first you might get some kind of try again issue, then just hit try again like that. What it's trying to do is it's trying to access it through where it's saying searching, and of course there's nothing for it to do. When you hit try again, it'll know to go through Wi-Fi rather than your carrier information of any degree. And then like we said, bing, bang, boom. It's in. So again, SIM not supported just simply means ICC ID is wrong. The error performing request is some kind of issue within the phone, within software, who knows. Probably an over the air update that you couldn't even avoid. Um, but like I said, there's a workaround for that. And so hopefully uh, this helped you with whatever problems you're having. Uh, make sure again to like and subscribe, guys. And, uh, and if you guys need anything, please comment. Uh, so that way then I can help you with whatever problems you're having. Take care till the next time.